What's up? It's your boy Carcino here, man, and now they're talking about oh, it's getting ugly and uglier is is that Lisa Evans that broke it out that the feds are saying that Tax Stone is is the the person who shot Daryl, what he said he he owned the gun that killed Ronald McFadder and all that stuff. And Tax Stone's lawyer says we're not guilty. Now, this is why I want people to understand. He could have been the owner of the firearm that that took place. He could be the owner. Don't mean he was the one that did it. Period. So the internet needs to stop convicting people before things are finalized. Let them do their investigation. Somebody talking about his DNA is all on the weapons and all this stuff. Let the police be the police. Okay? They do not pay y'all to be the police. And sure enough, all you guys have still running around <laughs> pointing fingers now they talking about oh it was a clip and it was a 9 millimeter Caltech semi-automatic handgun and it was in the VIP green room in a crowded Man Manhattan concert venue area where it seems to have tax stones DNA on the trigger the hand grip of the magazines I don't know what happened they had OJ DNA all over the place right and what happened I'm with whack on this one. Not even my enemy should be incarcerated. Keep it in the streets. If this was a street matter, it could be handled in the streets. I don't know what the problem with these two could have been that it would lead to this type of altercation. That's how I am. You know, I feel like if it's some stuff that's not even realistic, like nobody's getting any money behind it, it's not even about money, it's not even about a real situation, like we got a real street problem. There was no real street problem. There was really nothing. So... From what I'm hearing, this is based on nothing but social media. So this social media incident resulted into all of this. This is what I talk about. And I repeat it, and it sounds like a broken record, about being responsible on what you're saying. Okay. Now, it was an incident that happened and I had to make a decision on do I want to report on it or not. And I chose not to do it. Because that person knew that that wouldn't have been a good story for them. Um, social media personality slash used to be an uh, artist was filming a video and it, taking pictures or filming video one or the other with their phone while they was in the tub okay the phone fell in the tub and they thought they were going to be electrocuted by the phone I, I swear to god there's people out here who are famous who are really this this gone and it was immediate panic oh my god kicking splashing jumps out of the tub slips Boom! Messed they face up, chipped the tooth, everything. Had to go into emergency dental surgery to fix their tooth that got chipped. 
the same night paid that dentist because they had an appearance to come up on television had to ice their face the whole thing I could have brought all this up on a video just to get some hits but that person asked me personally not to do it and I said because you asked me personally the information won't ever come out for me so boom there you go being responsible for what you put out I think I will live if, <laughs> if I didn't put that person's information out on what happened a lot of people knew what happened there. a lot of people joked about it made fun about it but never in a public setting so, other than that, I'm kind of done with this tax thing, man. Just, just let the police be the police. All right, that's all I got to say to y'all, internet people. I'm out.